cheesy peas. Obviously. Cheesy peas? Cheesy peas, why not? Hi, in capability, Brown. Peas! Marlon's ordered peas for the pub. I'm going to plant them right now. Can't beat a fresh pea. When are you getting a shed? No sheds. I'll never get him out of it. <laughs> you get one if you want one, William. Layla knows best, don't you, dear? I try. <laughs> Here, let me show you when the orchard is going to be. Or am I uh, walking before I can crawl? What? No, 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 no. An orchard is a great idea. Colton's got one. Anything they can do, we can crush. <laughs> hey, anyone fancy a milky coffee and a rich tea biscuit? Not half. Uh, so does Connellton have a community market garden? No, no, but we have. Really? Where? Here. Go well, on, you're going to start your doily, so come on. Come on, get digging, Doc. Right, right. Flipping well, well. <laughs> An allotment might be great for supplying the pub, and at least he's a doctor, but he chokes on a scallion. <laughs> Either that's a farewell deal. No. I need you to leave him, but not today. Diane! Hang on, love. Sarah Bernard hasn't quite crushed her nerd yet. <laughs> Oh, Mum. I know, love. Honestly, Mum. Yes, I know, love. But Mum... Oh, what man? You're like a dripping, flipping tap. There's just so much that I want to say. Write it all down and send it in a letter. You're often better on paper. But this is crazy. You can't go on your own. I mean, who's going to stop you from staying up all night or dancing on tables or toppling under buses or under handsome men young enough to be your grandson. Not a flaming soul. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> you, Harry and Sarah, there's flights every day I want to see you soon. No time, but the best laughs ever working with you two. I'll leave you in charge of Meryl Streep, best of British, and Nicola and Faith. Such decent women, even if nobody else can see it. I'm gonna miss you. Liar. I'm your main competition for the men. <laughs> oh, don't go, Diane. I've only just started liking you. <laughs> and what you got for me? We'll always have Valerie. She ran as ragged and we loved it. And this is my great-grandson, Thomas. Everybody? He's gonna be loads of trouble. I hope. He will be if he's anything like you. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> and I wouldn't have it any other way.